Oh my god. <laughs> Who's in the kitchen with the pots and pans? Making a mess, it's dad, he's the man. Can he cook? But he's gonna try. He's learning how it's dad dinner night. Dad dinner! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look at that. Are you a dad? Do you struggle with making dinner? Samesies. That's why I bring a dad butt over to help me make a dinner because I don't know how to cook anything. Uh, welcome to dad dinner, everybody. Yeah, okay, today's guest is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. He's a celebrity hairstylist and also kind of a celebrity. Are you a celebrity? No. Yeah, Canadian celebrity. Um, guys, it's Matt Collins, everybody. We love him so much, baby! Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Also, let's just clarify, uh, you are our second guest that is dad to be dad. Dad to be, an unborn dad. Oh, you're an unborn dad. Yeah. I can't wait for you to get birthed. Uh, Matt, so tell us, you are pregnant. Yes, Laura, my wife, right here. Mega producer, Laura. Yeah, that's how hey! I- <laughs> We love you, Laura. Okay, when she do? It's July 17th. July 17th? In a, like, a, like two, three months -ish? Shout out to Cancers. What up? Yeah. And we cannot be more excited. Cannot My girls excited. like freaked out crying when they found out you guys were finally pregnant. We're so excited to meet baby... Baby girl. Okay, yeah. Matt, what are we cooking today? We are going to cook a whole spatchcock chicken. <laughs> and <laughs> so a spatchcock means you're basically cutting a chicken uh -huh. in, in half. Okay. And you're pushing it down. So the key to it is... Flavoring gets over everything. It gets a nice even cook and it's much quicker to cook as well. He is so good at explaining things. He works for Dyson, international Dyson. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. Let me get you an apron. I'm okay, so great. excited. Okay, here we go. Is there cool music playing? Out my finger. It's hard to tie. Like, okay, oh. there we go. Wow, that's okay. Cool. You feel good? Yeah, oh, I, I feel great. <laughs> I feel really good. Little sweetie, little yeah, I'll just yeah. pull that brazier down. Okay. Okay. We're making spatch cat chicken. chicken. Spatch Slice it. Chicken. Smash it. It's intimidating. It's intimidating. I literally watched a YouTube video. I cook a lot, and almost everything I learn is from YouTube. We love YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Yeah. But <laughs> we're gonna do that, and we're gonna use uh, this is an ad for meter. It's the greatest oh, what, thermometer. What, an ad for what? A meter. Oh, a meter. It's a, like a wireless thermometer, okay. which I never cooked whole chickens before because chicken to me scares me because I'm always scared I'm gonna undercook it or mm -hmm. overcook it. So you I would never salmonella. do it. salmonella. Yeah, it's too scary. Ryan, grab the chicken. Okay. Oh, Here's the chicken. What's her name? Beatrix. Great. There you go. Okay, take it back. <laughs> I made you older. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, jeez! Oh, sorry, baby. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And here you go. Let's cook Beatrix. This is what's important. So you can see this is the back, right? Yeah. You can tell. This is the breast. Uh huh. Yep. Juicy, right? Oh, yeah. So we're not going to cut that. This is the spine, right? It doesn't need to matter and to be exact, but I'm going to go down both sides of this. So what you need to do is you need to break the bone now. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go here. Oh, oh, oh See? my gosh. So I flattened it out. So now it's going to lie flat like this on the pan. The key to a good crispy chicken is dryness. Okay. Dry so wait a minute. Dryness. We need to, it hurt to be so dry. Okay. So we want to pat all this down and get all the moisture off of it. Okay. Did your did your dad cook? Was he the cook in the family? Was your mom? My mom was a stay-at-home mom. I have four sisters. And my dad was a pilot. So he was gone. He flew for Air Canada. He was probably gone at least three, four days a week my entire life. Okay. Always. So my mom was always cooking. And they were always together. Like our family was our family unit. We didn't have a lot of cousins close by. So it was always us. So it was rare my mom went away to do anything. Okay. And if my dad cooked, he cooked a tuna casserole. That's all, the only thing he's ever cooked. Love a tuna casserole. I've never cooked it. There's that spray, the avocado spray. Oh yeah, we got- Just spray okay. all over this, because it's gonna help it to clean later. What is this? Did That's you... the rack. So 
This is going to lift it off so the heat can also get underneath so it cooks the underneath. So we got to get, I got to get myself a rack. It's so yeah, <laughs> That's great. I don't know if this is helping. That's great. Uh, so this is a great dinner to obviously like impress people with or do if you're having people over. But in my opinion, it's super easy and it's like an everyday thing. My trusty squeeze bottle. Okay. What I would love you to do while I get these spices okay. is I just want you to put a little bit of olive oil and I want you to get massage it in all over this chicken. Doesn't don't have to do the bottom, but I really want you to get it in all the. Are crevices. we still doing the oh yeah thing? Yeah. Can I get an oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna do garlic powder all over like that. It's a weird thing that I learned from someone is when you do it. You want to go like this back and forth about four, 12 inches away because it gives an even spread of the stuff. Like that avocado spread. But this one comes out a bit different. So I think this is lemon pepper seasoning. This is good. Oh, that's going to be nice. This is nice, right? So we're going to do lots of that. I don't want it to be too spicy. But the thing is, I like skin. So I will eat the skin. But if your girls don't like spice, they don't have to eat the skin. Okay. Now we're going to do pepper. There's already lemon pepper, so I don't have to worry about this, but oh, this is a nice pepper grinder. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my gosh. You want to do a little yeah. pepper? Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is the app right here. This is the meter. It's always charging when it's on this thing and the light is going. So now what we're going to do here is I see set up cook, right? Now I can go to chicken. Right here. Chicken. I go to whole chicken. Whole. I, I like to go a bit above what the recommendation is because I want it crispier. I Even if a chicken is cooked the right temperature, even if it's really too moist, I get weirded out that I'm okay. going to die. Okay. Okay. So then when I go start cook, watch. It'll show me exactly where I need to place this. Whoa. So Where is that? I'll show you. Did it, so we're going to flip it, it around. Up? So this is the breast. So ideally, we want it to go up to here in this breast. Well, so, they went in the thickest part. So right? I go kind of in low, and then I just wow put it in like that. Okay. And that's it. This goes in the oven. Now that I'm done, I hit start cook. It says probe the meter, put it beside, start cook. So Love now it. we're going to put this in and we're done. And we already preheated to 425. 425. So I like to cook my chicken at a higher temperature because it seals the juices in and it makes it a little bit crispier on the outside mm -hmm. and it will make it a little bit more moist, but it also speeds up the cook. So that's good. I love it. So this is going to probably that. be about 45 minutes. The rice that we're going to take is going to take about 20 minutes. So let's make a cocktail first. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to cocktail hour at dad dinner. So we're going to make a couple old fashions. You don't like mezcal. I love old I fashions though. prefer mezcal. So I'm going to make a mezcal old fashioned. I'm going to make you a bourbon old fashioned and we're going to show how I like to do it. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. I want to put a spoonful of water. Just a... Uh, oh, let's just do that. Just a little bit of water. Spoonful of water, Matt. Jeez Louise. So now we're going to put a sugar cube in each one. Okay. Okay. Really get that in there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, good. And, and you, you put a little water in there first? Yeah. So we're going to do bitters. This is just regular bitters. I like to put eight dashes in it. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. Does this remind One, you of your two, IVF three, training? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to get you to put two ounces of bourbon in yours. It's Thursday afternoon. Why not? Here we go. Two ounces. Yeah. Okay. You don't need that. Oh, yeah. we don't want that. No. Oh, you. Oh, you literally just want yep. that. So oh. we're gonna stir it up first. So you want to. You want to really stir it up because you want to get like the. Um, if you have a stir stick, it's better. How did you twist yourself? So pretty. Yeah, just like that. Jeez, you twist it. Okay. Twist then you're gonna go like this. All the way around to so get that taste. And now we're going to put that in the drink. Learning how to cook on YouTube, now teaching how to cook oh, on YouTube. What a great moment. Let's Cheers. go. Oh, yeah. yeah that's really nice. Beer. I'm a broken man. I'm a Halifax beer. I'm rinsing the rice. Always rinse your rice. Always rinse your rice. And we're going to use chicken stock. What I prefer to do is when I cook a chicken like this, I will then put all the bones, whatever's left of the chicken, in a crock pot, fill it up with water, and whatever vegetables I have in the fridge, onions, carrots, celery, whatever, and then I put it on low for like up to three days. 
Because it, what it does, or, is it gets all the. So we're gonna do two. Two of those. Two of okay, these. Okay. As you're pouring, do you actually want kids, Matt? No. Right. Just regular white rice is great. It's yummy, but I like to do a few things to it that are gonna make it a little Cam's bit more tasty. Great. So we have this minced garlic that we get at Trader Joe's. Okay. I'm Ooh, gonna do nice. maybe one or two, like that. Okay. In there with the rice. Do you have tomato paste? Let me take a look. Oh. Italian tomato paste, like toothpaste. That's it, it's like toothpaste. You can use it as toothpaste. Okay. So we're gonna put like just a little bit like that in there. It's gonna give the rice a nice color, look a little bit different, I'll give you that. Then also, your kids don't like a lot of spice though. No, right? they don't. So I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of this. This Trader Joe's is not that spicy. It's like this ground chili oil. I love this. I'll put this on everything, but you know. I love that stuff. On pizza. Oh. Very popular on pizza. So then I'm just going to mix this all together. Mm -hmm. Cup, you know, cup here, okay. cup there. So now, now we just let this sit. This is just doing its thing. So now the, I think the cool thing about this meal is that really the chicken took me five minutes. This took me less than five minutes. And now I don't have to do anything until that. But look at this right here. One hour remaining. That's a long time. It's gonna shorten. And that's it. And now we just have drinks. Now we just have drinks. Which now I know how to make. Yeah. Because it's now it's just like you're just chilling. It's just like you're done. Feels good. You, you know? can spend more time with the kids. Uh, yeah. But what's fun, what I find funny is before you're pregnant, before you think about having kids, everyone's like, you gotta have kids. They're the best. They're the best. Then as soon as you're pregnant, about to have kids, it's like everyone's terrifying you for the kids. Like, yeah. oh, get ready to not sleep. <laughs> get ready to not have a life. Get ready to never play your video game again. It's like, I don't know. You're like, you were just talking you're into just it. You were just telling me to do it, and now you're saying how bad it is? No one does that before. Well, I think they're just prepping you for some uh, life changing. Your life changes, but it's like for the best. I mean, sure, you play a little bit less video games, but then you have a little baby to look at. Baby TV. It's wonderful. Yeah. Baby girl TV. Well, I'm going to get her into racing. Quick. Right away. Yeah. Matt, let me just stop you right there really quick. No matter how many baby books you read, no matter all the you know podcasts you listen to about parenting, you are going to be an incredible father. Oh. You are, I mean, especially because like, whenever you get dialed in on something, you're like, you're all in. Uh, I'm most looking forward to doing hair every day. Yeah. I'm li like literally, I kind of like, I did years ago, I did like TV work in Canada where I would talk about like, these are the best ponytails to do. And I did an episode with three dads showing them how to do their daughter's hair. And it was the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. And it was so cute to see them learn this. And so like, I definitely want to like, do that like every day. I want to I do love even from that. like if she's like bald with like a tuft of hair. I want to figure out how I'm gonna make this cute. What I'm gonna do. All right, we have. What do we got? See, thirty-three minutes. Three minutes remaining. We'll see you in a minute. Two and two, and we come back. <laughs> and we're back. Remove from heat. See, it tells you. Oh, I love yeah, it. Well, so. And what's this app called again? Meter, M-E-A-T-E-R. Oh, meets, M-E-A. Like a meter. Meter, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gorgeous. Yes, Beatrix. There we go. This is gorgeous. Look at her. She's a little, see, a lot of spices. Spices gone, but that's gonna be nice crispy yeah. skin. Okay, what now? Now the rice is ready, so we need, uh, let's get one plate. One plate. The two of us. Got it. Hi, yeah. I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil in here to just get it nice in there. I'll show you why. That. I'll show you. So we got the rice. Look at this. This oh, isn't... Yeah. This, this, my rice did not look like this. Presentation is very important. Oh, you're going to pop it on there like that. Okay. Voila. Look at that. I love it. See? Matt, as we wait, what are you excited about becoming a dad? I think it's like, you know, when you get a puppy and you're just obsessed with it and you stare at it all day long. Yeah. I think that's what I'm most excited about. But also it's like play playing like a lot of just like as it starts to, to get a little bit, she starts to get a little bit older. Her neck starts to get good. Just like, I don't know, playing and having this relationship with her. Like I see that a lot with you. One thing like you might not be good at cooking, but you are good with playing and having a lot of fun with your girls. Oh, thanks, and man. It, that is something that I look forward to is just kind of having that like little bestie that I get to have this relationship with. Two margaritas. Uh, 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 three margaritas. Uh, do you have a, like a, to a tongs? Wow. We can have like, maybe we'll try a little, a wing there too. And let's, let's get a piece of breast here too. Oh yeah. We're gonna just, okay. Cut. Ooh, 
Yeah, that's nice. Now we're gonna hold that. You see. The hammy taste fast. Oh, mm. okay, big boy. Here we go. Oh, oh hammy. Oh. Oh. Approved. Mm. They have a dog named Mark. It's Hammy's best friend. Yeah. And they're the best. Yeah, Ryan thinks he's pretty cool. Picture of Mark? Isn't he cute? Sausage I've got the soy, 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 soy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the soy, 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 soy down in my heart. I got the love of Jesus. No. no. I, it goes fast. I've got the wonderful love of my best every day, but we down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down the edge, my heart. I've got the wonderful level of my best every day, but we down the edge. I could never do that part. Well, how do you? Mm. Know, what do you think about the rice? Everything is insanely good, buddy. I love you. You're gonna be the cutest dad in the world. Yeah, I'm cute. Yeah, you're really I'm cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies, today Matt and I made spatchcock chicken and rice. What's spatchcock? That's right, spatchcock chicken. It's kind of fun to say, right? Here you go. Oh, the rice looks really Voila. good. Voila. There you go. Mm. What do you think? The rice is so good. Isn't it good? Mm. It's so good. Okay, Everett, what do you think? The chicken, or is it chicken? Yeah, it's chicken. It's so good. It's good, right? Okay, wait, let me my yard. The, uh, well, we did bring Beatrix in. Mm. Mm. I can make this, guys. I can do it. This, the meat is so good. You see? It just, maybe it was a little bit warmer. Okay, well, we did make it a little bit ago. So, and then I'm going to try them together and see. Yeah. I'm going to try the chicken and rice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of so 10. So good. I yes. love it. Everett? 10 out of 10. Baby, let's go, Matt. Woo! Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, say bye. Bye. Uh, tune in for our next episode with my best friend, Bradley Cooper. All right, see ya. Yee! Bye. 10 out of 10.